What am I supposed to say to her? I'm just a personal assistant, but I'd love to produce your music. I, mean, I really enjoyed getting to see this film. I thought that it was funny and I loved the themes that were in it. Um, talk to me a little bit. I mean, I feel like especially now with, you know, people being, you know, staying at home in this pandemic, it forces you to reevaluate like, who am I and what do I want to do? And am I okay with just staying complacent or can I strive for more? It is a really good time for self-reflection <laughs> and and um, maybe, I mean, the themes that I love are always, um, do I take the risk or do I stay the safe course? And any movie that has two women that are really strong characters that are taking big risks and then rewarded for taking those risks, I am 100% behind. I always want to see movies where women take big risks and get great rewards. <laughs> it's awesome. Well, and talk to me about casting, because I thought Dakota and Tracy worked really well together. I was actually surprised that it was Tracy's first time ever singing on screen. Um, yeah. So what was that like? It was really fun. We wanted to make sure we created a dynamic that wasn't the typical sort of nightmare boss, put upon assistant, that we found sort of the shades in between that. Um, what was like, what's, what's it like to be close to such a music icon that you grew up idolizing and now you find yourself working with her and also for Grace, like what it's like to be told by all these sort of men that surround you that you need to compromise and make these sacrifices. And then you get to a point where you um, realize like, wait, did I need to make all those sacrifices to get where I am? Um, do I have to keep making them to get further? Or should I just go back to what got me here in the first place, which was my voice and knowing who I am and believing in myself. So I think it's a really beautiful like story with two women at different points sort of facing their same fears and obstacles of how to follow their dreams. And with following any dream, you're right, there is that, that those little moments that you make decisions that alter forever, change things. For you personally, is it, do, does one stand out where you think, man, if I would have made a different choice, I could be on a completely different trajectory? Well, in this moment right now, it is just I feel like even all the choices I made that were terrible and mistakes, everything did lead me to where I am right now. So I kind of have to at some point go, well, maybe that was the path that was meant to be, even though it's frustrating. It took way longer than I thought it would. <laughs> I wish it happened all faster. I'm here. I directed my first studio movie. It's with these amazing stars. It came out really good. Thank God. And I mean, hopefully I'll get to make another one. So part of me just feels like, okay, maybe that path, as windy as it was, it got you here, so, and this is where you wanted to be. Um, but yeah, I always fantasize that maybe I could have made these choices and gotten here a little faster. <laughs> and I love, you know, with the with the backdrop of Los Angeles and the music and the, and the film together, um, talk to me about kind of blurring those so that it seems seamless as an audience member. And I love Los Angeles. It's such a beautiful city, and the music scene here is incredible. I think Seattle gets a lot of credit for it in New York, but Los Angeles has a really diverse, incredible music scene. And I wanted to sort of make this love letter to it. And I also wanted to show the beauty of our city in a way that I think it used to be filmed. Now it's sort of, um, sometimes you'll just get that shot of the palm trees and the Beverly Hills sign. And I was like, but wait, there's a beautiful canyon that everybody hikes through every day here. And nobody thinks about when they see LA or these East Side music clubs that are just like where you see the best bands in the world. And um, there were just, you know, the ocean, of course, is always featured, but there's so many beautiful, beautiful places in LA and um, Capitol Records is just this iconic building that we drive by every day on the 101. And I think you can just sort of forget sometimes the sun just catches it right and you just get like a history that happened in this building, you know, and we got to film in Capitol Records and uh, make it Grace Davis's studio and it just it was a really special place to be able to film everybody felt it like everybody came to work just in awe of what had been created in this space in these studios.